Stellar Blade. You know, the game with the hot girl in a skin-tight bodysuit with the exactly two jiggle... I mean, three. Three jiggle physics that everyone wanted to see. Yeah, exactly. That one is literally offing women. Now, thankfully, I have no idea what a woman is. No one has ever defined what a woman is as far as I know, and no one will ever be able to. Checkmate, atheists. Stellar Blade is literally killing women. The IGN France editor-in-chief, so this was after they posted their apology for the Stellar Blade article. He goes into, like, I mean, nobody knows what this is, right? Wow. So, like, somebody was able to uh, to translate it and, and we'll listen to what he said. He's having a meltdown. Yeah, he's actually really upset about this. Someone was able to translate this. Bro, it's just French or Italian. Who honestly cares? They're almost the same country anyway. Yes. And uh, he answered, uh, yes, no problem. Go tell that to the women who are hit, killed, and denigrated or commit suicide because they can't live up to the fictional standards expected by men. The problem is not... By men? Whoa, 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 dude. Again, we're blaming the men. Hey, at least Asmongold is going to agree with that one. Okay. Women put unreasonable standards for women. Now listen, I'm, I'm going to give you a story out of life. Now, I knew this one girl. She was younger than me. She, uh, we went to the same school. When I finished 12th grade, she didn't finish 12th grade. And after finishing 12th grade, not even finishing 12th grade, the moment she was 18, she got a boob job and a lip job. And maybe a girl is currently thinking, Wait a minute, I never knew you. Yeah, because there's a bunch of you. Le exactly the same same blanket person out there so that's why the story seems uh, understandable to you and somehow you think that's you there's a bunch of them okay and why because kardashians if we want to get rid of this shit we just need to you know and i think i speak for everyone get rid of the kardashians they literally glorified glamorized and made excessive plastic surgery completely normal and ba um, and built their whole fame and fortune effectively on just a leaked uh, S tape. That that's that's what this is. And there's no uh, there's no person better at glorify uh, glorifying these things only in women, not the you know actual personalities, brains, or whatever, than other women. Expected by men. The problem is not the sexy design itself, except that it sucks compared to others, but no it doesn't, nice. shut up! No it doesn't! What do you mean? It's good! Whatever, okay, anyway, but the percentage of males who will only want this type of fictional body in reality, obviously we understand that this does not shock people who think that women are objects and must obey and be beaten. <laughs> Damn. Oh my god, this guy needs to take his medication. Oh no. Does France have a mental health problem too? Yes. Oh Obviously. god, this design makes us sigh and roll our eyes and we laugh at anyone who needs it. Man or woman, but that's it. The certainly clashing remark in the text, uh, which targets the creative process, is not necessarily a specific designer or game director. This is obvious to anyone who knows a little French only has this impact because a good portion of gamers have become too fragile due to being fed the patriarchy these writers are completely insane okay so how do you become fragile by being fed the patriarchy i thought the patriarchy is bad because it makes people toxic masculine or whatever so now the patriarchy makes men weak i am so confused i am so confused with this crap I mean, obviously he's butthurt because they made him, they apologized for something in his, in, you know, like this is his newspaper, right? And they, they made him take it down. And so he's crying about it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's just butthurt because he's France, uh, French. It makes sense. And he's saying that like, yeah, I'm sure that Stellar Blade is why women are being beaten and, and killed, okay? Yeah, and, and committing suicide. Like, listen, you think this isn't a problem for men? Like... There are plenty of guys. Remember we watched that video? No. No, this is not a problem for men, okay? I can literally look at someone in uh, in MMA 
a black dude who beats up who, who beats up a guy and I can literally be dead and get and say that's literally me without any problems literally as any other guy in the universe who well doesn't three percent has been gold technically it's not hard it's it's not hard oh oh yeah video yesterday with like uh where the fuck was it I, I don't know where it is if you think that this problem hits men harder than women by the way you're just a weak ass pussy loser deal with it loser okay it doesn't hit men hard at all i again if, if it hits you hard because you see some other guy going to the gym and you're like that's that that's a you problem dude and i don't care what happens to you yeah this one here the social media video like you think that guys don't see this and think that they're a piece of shit too no what's that absolutely not Unless you have low self-esteem and you're in general a pussy. Yes. Do you think that women have a monopoly on this? Like, oh, yes. wow, well, we can't have unrealistic body standards for women. And by the way, the unrealistic body standard here is being thin and in shape. I mean, she doesn't have massive mega milkers or like a gigantic ass. She's just a... I mean, that, that ass is to die for, though hot fit girl if you go to a gym go to a gold's gym and you'll probably see two or three girls that look just like that but the hell you is a gold every fucking gym. gym so how is it really an unrealistic body standard when the only reason why there's more of them in the gym more of them in one place than another is that the one place is golden corral and the other one is the gym what um yeah so that's that's stupid because if you're okay it, it's Okay, how how do I explain this the most simply why what he said is actually stupid? Um, it's such an absolutely unfair and unrealistic comparison. It is essentially uh, it is essentially the same as saying, yeah, people who are currently at home are way more uh, way more healthy than people who are currently in the cancer ward getting e irradiated. That that's effectively what he's saying. Oh, you see women like this constantly if you go to the places where women like this typically always are gonna be. The argument here is that this is not a realistic body type. And Asmongold accidentally plays into that by saying, Oh, only women who go to the gym look like that. Which is untrue. There are women who look like that just because they exist. They don't even have to work that hard and they still look really amazing. What are we talking about? That's it. Usually filming themselves as well. Yeah, exactly. So if there's nothing wrong with trying to put emphasis on somebody who's like fit and in shape. Like, for example, whenever I usually make characters in video games, I don't make them look like me because I think like, oh, you know, I probably am too skinny. I think I'm too skinny in a lot of cases. And, you know, I probably should work out and exercise a bit more. Now, does it mean I hate myself? Yes. No, I don't hate myself, but it's like there's things about my about my appearance I wish I could change. I think it's the Weak. same with everybody, right? Like, I, the one thing that's crazy to me is that there are these girls, and these are like these OnlyFans girls. I've talked with these girls. Obviously. And they're like, this girl is an A. I mean, what else kind of women is he ever going to talk to, if you think about it? A 9, or in some cases a 10 for some people, right? Wow. This girl's really hot. Okay. And she's constantly thinking about how ugly she is. It's like, are you fucking stupid? No, she's just trying to get attention from you, you dumbass. Oh, boy. Why would people give you money if you were ugly? Shut the fuck up. Like, what are you talking about? What are you thinking this for? <laughs> so it's not like women have a monopoly on... Say, yes, save her like a white knight. Security. There's so many guys that have this problem. Like, this isn't an issue at all. And also, like, uh, the fictional standards. It, it's not a fictional standard. This is, it's not. Like, I understand if you're talking about, like, a, um, Lady Demestritu, or whatever the fuck her name is, uh, Demestro or whatever, in Resident Evil Village, okay? You have an eight-foot-tall vampire lady with- I mean- Hopefully one day that's not gonna be a fictional standard, obviously. Massive fucking titties. This is an unrealistic body image. 
Carl, dare Once... you take that back? That's a completely realistic thing that we should strive to, to as humanity. Fortunately. But the truth is that nobody was complaining about that one. Nobody gave a shit about that. But why is it that people are getting mad about this? It's crazy. That's the unrealistic one. What's funny is these people in character creator won't make themselves. I've never seen one posted. Yeah, I don't know. And uh, <clears throat> the problem is not the sexy design itself, the percentage of Also, people who make characters to make self-inserts are weak and pathetic. I said it. What you gonna do about it, loser? Nothing. Exactly. <laughs> Go make another self-insert. Else who will want this type of fictional body and re- This does not sh- Oh my god. Oh my god. What an idiot. Yeah, why would- So why would guys- Like, I mean, of course guys would want her. She's hot. What's wrong with that? It's obvious, isn't it? I mean, there's some guys that's like, oh, I like other girls that look like another way. But, like, for the guys that like girls that look like that, yeah, it makes sense, right? I mean, what, duh. Like, what is this? They're getting mad instead of at, at this, no, Demestro? Because they're mad they're show, uh, showing an achievable body and stellar blade and out-of-shape women don't want to admit that? I think there's some cases of that, too. This is not even about out-of-shape women. Because, let's, let's be real, those... Everyone who says, oh, 50% of all gamers are women, clearly have not played a single game ever in their life. Maybe it's true for Valorant, and half of them are lady boys. Maybe it's true there, okay? But not even, but nowhere else, okay? Nowhere else. There's, there, it's still like 5 or 10% overall in gaming. Go, go uh, fuck off with your, oh, Candy Crush's, uh, uh, balancing the scales or any of that garbage just stop but this is these women don't even care about that character and furthermore it's scientifically proven that uh men like to play hot characters and women like to play hot characters that's why even when you have the option of making an ugly character typically no one makes an actual ugly character they make a funny character but not an ugly one yeah, obviously this guy's having some sort of uh, mental breakdown because people disagree with an article in his uh, on his online internet newspaper. So yeah, I thought this was kind of funny to see. And um, is that know. it? I think that's it. Anyway, that was Asmongold Bold, and this was Cruiser Said Thanks for watching. Subscribe. If you haven't already. And have a nice day. Bye bye.